The Northern Ohio Youth Orchestra uh, was founded in 1969. It quickly grew into a regional youth orchestra program. Our students travel from as far as Toledo and they come to Oberlin every Sunday to rehearse. My favorite part is that you get to like play music with people your own age and like the conductors really help you. I like showing like off my violin skills to everyone. It's nice to have like a bunch of people like me like coming together and having just fun with music. What I'm trying to teach them um, in addition to musical skills and learning about the music itself is how to be an orchestral player. Really trying uh, to direct their listening uh, and to teach them to listen at a couple different levels. They need to be aware of their own sound that they're making um, and they also need to be aware of the section that they're in so that if they're a first violin or second or a cello or a viola they understand what their smaller group within the larger group is supposed to be doing. Everybody is responsible for their own, but when you come to rehearsal, you have to work with everybody to make sure you're all together. You watch the person next to you, you share your notes with people behind you and in front of you, you watch your leader, and the leader has to make sure they're with the conductor so that the leader of the section is with the entire orchestra at that point. When the kids in the orchestra really get into it, that's when I start to have the most fun. Anytime you can get a back and forth and you can get a sort of, you know, everyone's really committed and everyone's really invested and everyone's trying to, to, to play as well as they can, um, then, it, then it's, you know, magic. It's like pretty, like, awesome. Because like, all, all these tones getting together and like, Pretty much, it just joins the whole, like the whole orchestra. With Noyo, all the pieces of the puzzle come together. We have the stellar staff of Oberlin alums, and then we have uh, the current students who do our coachings and sectionals, and then we we have the musicians. Uh, the most important part of Noyo. It's nice to be able to come to Oberlin because it's like Oberlin's so big with the music. It's really nice to be able to work with like the Oberlin students and whatnot because um, they have a lot more experience than what we do. It's nice to um, work with people that are too much older than us so they can still relate but that have that extra knowledge. It's kind of an honor to be able to be in a big group like this and get this good experience. Uh, I like the opportunity to play with a group and uh, to be able to hear other parts, meet other cellists. Noyo offers the kids that chance to maybe play at a higher level than might be available either in their school or some of them, you know, in time might be homeschooled or whatnot. So it's, it replaces or it is the activity that they would, their only option to, to make music. Music is one of those wonderfully human things that, that uh, kind of captures both our, our cognitive thinking kind of skills as well as our soul. And I think that helps uh, round out an individual and, and uh, allows us to be human. Noyo brings me the experience to be in a full orchestra setting with winds, brass, and strings, and percussion. I've learned commitment and responsibility as well as teamwork. You need all those things in an orchestra because without those, the orchestra doesn't work. It just becomes a bunch of people just playing their instruments. We don't just play concerts. That's not really our mission. You may see you know, us rehearsing and everything like that, but what's really happening underneath is these students are developing skills that are going to transform them and make them a better person for the rest of their life. They're developing their leadership skills. We get to uh, teach them discipline. Um, studying music is not something that you can do casually. It's something that these students are committed to every day, that you have to pick up your instrument and play every day. We're teaching them responsibility. You know, they, they, they walk into rehearsal um, knowing that they have a commitment, that they need to pull their weight. And these are all things that, that you might not see from, from just observing a rehearsal, but are all things that are really real and, and happening.
This is something that, that we take to heart when, when we are planning our concerts and when we are working with the students is, is how can we make this education not just about playing a concert, but how can we make it one that will improve the rest of their life?